I have recently started a 40-day soul class, and the first couple days I encourage you to look into your heart and see what God wants to teach you over the next 40 days. And for me, a verse came to mind, it's Hebrews 12, verse 1. And it says, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that trips us up. And let us run with endurance the race that God has set before us. So since we're, it's a 40-day fast, I chose to kind of go over 40 things that are either bad attitudes or hurt or sins in my life. And I wrote them on golf ball, balls, and I put them in this container. But also, as I am getting rid of this weight, it says to be filled with the Holy Spirit in Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. And it says to let the Holy Spirit guide your life. Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature requires. And then it goes on and tells us about the different fruits of the Spirit. So I wanted to demonstrate today kind of in a visual way what that would look like. So I've kept my weights in my container or in my heart to show you that if I'm asking God to be filling me with his spirit and he fills me with his love and joy and peace and patience So my heart is officially filled, but because I have these weights inside, I cannot be filled with the Spirit. So what God says is that in order to be filled with the Spirit, I have to get rid of these things that are taking up the capacity inside of my heart. So over the next 40 days, I plan to pray and ask God what needs to be done with these actions and attitudes and purpose. Sometimes it will be stopping an action. Sometimes it will be changing my attitude. And sometimes it's just going to be having to forgive and forget um, the things that people have done to me that have hurt my heart. So as you can already see, as I am taking out these weights from inside of my heart, I'm already gaining more capacity to be filled with the Spirit. So now that I've taken out the weight, my heart is really only half full. So I can take my patience and I can be filled with that. Then kindness. Faithfulness. Gentleness. Goodness. And that's So now my heart has been filled with the fruit of the Spirit. And I hope this helps you as you are going through your journey, trying to find out what God wants you to do.